Hey everyone and welcome to my workshop. Welcome back to Flipping Clean Mama. I am so excited to have you here today. And today we're not exactly flipping furniture. We're doing a special challenge hosted by LaVon from La Vintage Decor called Show Me Your Workshop. Basically, we're gonna show you where we flip our furniture and give you a tour of our workshops. So if you haven't checked out LaVon at La Vintage Decor, head on over there. Her description's in the link below and so will the playlist be of all the other YouTubers participating in this challenge. So, as far as flipping clean mama goes, <laughs> my workshop is a three car garage, which I gotta share with Mr. Flipping Clean Mama. However, this last year I've sort of um, taken it over. Yep, it's pretty much just all a flipping workshop. <laughs> So I'm gonna give you a tour of what my workshop looks like. I'm keeping it real. It's not all classy. <laughs> but if you have tips or tricks or ideas for me to spruce up my workshop, I would love to hear those in the comments below. And I'll show you a couple pieces that I am redoing or in the midst of redoing to help um, further my workshop a little more. So I'm excited to get started and show you what it looks like. So let's get going. All right, it's a windy day here in the Midwest, so you're gonna have to try to hear me over that wind. <laughs> but when you come into my workshop or my garage, you come on in and to your right, I have sort of a mess. I have a pool, carpet ball table here, this sort of becomes a catch-all for all my stuff. And that is Mr. Flipping Clean Mama's stuff over there. And then we have this light that we use when I paint sometimes. And over here on the wall, we, Mr. Flipping Clean Mama just put this up so we can hang up our tools and clamps and drills and cords. I have my sprayer hose over there, our air compressor hose. And then I have this beat up little, poor little table that I need to finish with a miter saw on it, which is a dinosaur, <laughs> but it works. And then sort of a mess here. Like I said, I'm keeping it real for you guys. And then over here we have our table saw and my husband's toolbox. And then I got this actually set for my husband for his birthday last year. And like I said, I've sort of taken it over. I got a lot of my supplies in it, my sprayers, you know, my sanders, got my sandpaper up there. Got a thing of screws. I got my hardware in there and he's got it all decorated up there. <laughs> and we've just put a little piece of green carpet there. We had around the garage and it's all full of sand dust. Like I said, keeping it real for you guys. And then over here is my staging wall where I take my pictures. And under there is my recent mid-century modern dresser. And that video will be coming out tomorrow morning at around 8 a.m. So Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Come back to my channel so you can see my mid-century modern dresser that I flipped. And I got this new Flipping Clean Mama sign here. So that's my staging wall. And then... Over here we have our deep freeze and this is a lot of junk. <laughs> and then here are some of my finished pieces or almost finished pieces or to be finished pieces covered up. And I hope to be getting a storage shed within the next year. Just across the way over there, they're going to be building a storage shed like catacorny from my house. So I'm excited about that. 
so I can just wheel my stuff down the street <laughs> and I won't have to take up all this room. So hopefully Mr. Flipping Clean Mama, we can get a car in here, which will make him very happy. And then this is just an armoire that I've got to start working on for my son. And then over here, I have this beat up old dresser. Sorry. I have this beat up old dresser and I'm redoing it and I'm going to paint it and hopefully stain the top once I get it done and then move it along this wall over here so I can set my saws and different things on it and have more storage for the drawers and etc. And then this table I've been working on sanding. <laughs> it is in rough shape. It's really old. It's from an old church that my husband used to attend when he was little and we picked it up from there and it had i don't know at least six to eight layers of paint on it so i've been stripping it and sanding it at least the top so i can stain that and i'll probably have to paint the bottom because there's just so much paint on it i was going to use that as a table along here as well to give me a little more sort of like a counter space area to do some work on so I'm excited about that, but I didn't get them in t done in time for the tour of the garage. So there you have it. Um, my staging wall, for example, I just got paneling and then some floorboards from our local Menards and stuck that up. But it's a pretty good sized space. And I intend to hopefully, once I get the furniture in storage, hopefully then I can keep most of my stuff over this way so we can get a car or two in. All right, so there is my garage tour. I know it's not as long of a video as usual probably, but I hope that you enjoyed it today. Thank you again, LaVon from La Vintage Decor for hosting this challenge. And I hope you go check her out as well as all the other YouTubers. And stay tuned Sunday at 8 a.m. Central Time. My mid-century modern video will be coming out tomorrow of that dresser. So I hope you'll check that out. As well as coming up in the future, that dresser I showed you in here that I'm doing for the garage as well as the table. And then my son's um, armoire will be coming up as well. May will be a little busier month for me as our son graduates, but I will still try to come to you every other Sunday. So stay tuned for more great content. Thank you so much for everyone who subscribed. I appreciate you guys more than you ever know. Please go down the link and check out all the people participating again. And I hope you have a flipping fabulous day. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.